I'm on my way to max rank on Sharpshooter. And I have been having a blast using the Recon A1. I know in my last video I kept calling it the, uh, the, um, uh, <laughs> the Scout A1. That's my bad. But, yeah, so, I'm over here. Yeah, oh, that worked well. Over here at, uh, at the bivouac, uh, the Sunken Clipper Bay bivouac. This is just a fun place to come out and test your shooting. Because you've got all sorts of long range shots available to you. And, and, and the like. So, you know, I only need to kill 17 more people. I'm going to do it. And let's see here. With these distances involved, let me check over here. Because I know i got some bad guys that might see me. Or hear me if I shoot. Ah, oh, no, they're far enough away. Alright, so I'm going to take off my suppressor. Ah, uh, there. T, that's right. Alright. And then... Fly my drone in here. And start marking. Now, we do have to watch for vehicles, of course. But that's not that big of a deal. Big things. You know, let's talk a little bit of strategy, too, when when doing something like this or taking a large base. The f there are two enemies you want to look for first, always, and that's radio guys and drone operators. If if you see those, you want to take out the take them out as soon as possible. Because they are the ones who will make your, your life a little hell a little early. When you're shooting from this distance, it honestly... Everything else is gravy. <clears throat> um, unless it's a wolf camp. Wolf camps can be a little more harrowing sometimes. They may be able to creep up on you. They tend to have a little bit better strategy. But not always. Now also, the thing with large bases like this especially with scale, is they will hide very well. They will hide inside buildings. Oh, oh I already got everything there, so. So there's a bunch inside there. Hopefully there's some guy over here somewhere. Around this bend. I don't see him, though. Uh, oh, well. Not a huge deal. Like, we know there are guys in here. Once again, not a huge deal. You don't have to get everybody marked. With the size of these bases and, and the number of interior spots, it can be difficult to get everybody marked. That's okay. It is not massively important that you get everybody marked. You just want to get the bulk of them marked. Now, after you've taken out the radio techs and the drone operators... You'll want to focus on snipers and heavies. So let's. Oop. This is honestly, sink shot is going to be one of your best friends here. <clears throat> and I will be making heavy use of my sink shot drones. So, okay, that guy's marked. I'm not, and I didn't see any drone operators. So we're fine there. There's someone. Um, it could also be useful to take out the, uh, the bagman. That's this guy right here. With your sink shot. Now, for my first shot, I frequently... Uh, let's take out that guy trailing. He's just... Or get him marked. It's bugging me. Okay. We're actually in a good spot to get... Get him marked. Okay. So, now we're going to take out... Shit. Alright, 
See, that's not that big of a deal that I missed. Shooting from this range. Because I'll still have some enemies to take out here. That won't, uh, won't manage to hide, like the snipers. And we'll take out as many of the snipers as we can. And some of these guys right here... Oh, that was way off. See, the recon A1 is not that bad if you're doing an anti-personnel roll. Um, I took out a group of patrolling wolves with it and freaking loved it. So, yeah, definitely don't forget about it. Um, so, yeah, while well, I wait for these guys to come back out of cover. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Nice little extra on a Sunday. And I will catch you later.